Hello everyone, and welcome back to Flowers and Fangs, a vampiric legacy, and we are here with Amaryllis Foxglove, who is currently planting some of the wolf's bane that she collected in Forgotten Hollow in the graveyard garden backyard that she has at her florist shop. And I am so excited to finally see her getting her fingers into the soil and planting some flowers like she really, really has been needing to. So the whole goal of having her here is so that she can go ahead and run her own flower florist shop and so far she's been very distracted by all of the delicious humans and their wonderful romantic interactions that she can have with them but we're going to try to get her focused on planting some flowers and planting some fruits and planting some of the vegetables and focusing on getting her flower shop up and going before the sun rises once again so I'm trying to get her planting a few things of wolf spade and planting a few of the other flowers she's collected like the chrysanthemums and the daisies before the sun comes up and she has to stay inside all day though today I'm hoping we can start selling some things because she only has about $600 right now and we definitely need to be able to get some more money if she's going to prove that she can keep a viable business and convince her grandma that she can live her own life in the city rather than having to return and only take care of the family vampire farm unfortunately we weren't able to get any of the um we were not able to get any of the plasma fruit while we were visiting grandma, but hopefully we'll be able to get the vampire points and get plasma fruit in the future. But for now, we can at least start planting all the flowers that she does have available. So we got some chrysanthemum from a starter pack. We actually got that from a starter pack that we had from the flower packets that she bought. So we're going to plant some chrysanthemum. I don't think we need to plant too many of them. Whoops. And I totally didn't mean to just drop that in the middle of the ground there, but we're going to plant them in these awesome mossy brick planters. I really love these. These are totally cool looking. They totally fit her like graveyard garden that she has going. And we'll plant some daisies, which are actually pretty common. She has a whole bunch of daisies uh, over, <laughs> you can see, you know, pushing daisies. I couldn't help myself. That's, you know, what everybody says when it comes to, um, you know, somebody who's died, the pushing daisies, you guys know what I mean. So we're going to go ahead and have her plant tons of daisies around the yard too. And then we'll get just a couple chrysanthemums because I have a feeling she wouldn't want to keep chrysanthemum around. Yellow is her least favorite color when it comes to flowers. So anything yellow like lemons and stuff like that, she'll keep long enough to be able to get for the sake of completing her gardening skill and completing the gardening collection. But it's not something she's going to go out of her way to try to actually grow and cultivate. Those would be roses. And there actually are some roses that are available somewhere. I think they're over here. Are they ready to harvest yet? Not yet. Not yet, but there's a whole bunch of things that are ready to collect over here that we could sell. That's so cool. We'll have her fly over there. And the snapdragons. We definitely need to collect up some snapdragons so she can start selling some of those things. But there we go. A few of the little flowers can get started. We'll go ahead and water all of them. Make sure that we're tending to the garden before she's going to be stuck inside. She has uh, the mysterious time capsule that she got from one of the fossil dig sites that she was taking care of in Forgotten Hollows, too. Sarkava. Are you complaining about your yard? Don't complain about your yard. Come on. Are you complaining about that pile of water that you put there yourself, you silly goose? Well, don't worry about that and take care of your daisies. And then I think I'll have her either get a starter pack of the other plants. <gasps> are those birds of paradise growing in the garden next to us? Oh my gosh. And are those full daisies? Wow. There's a lot of things in this awesome garden that's like literally right next to us. So we may have to go. Uh, and really, Amaryllis wants to get in here and kind of like pull up all the sunflowers and all of the really bright plants and the orange plants. She kind of wants to like weed through them. So maybe her influence will eventually spread across the boundary over to this garden. But maybe we'll have her go on a date with Janelle uh, over at this garden over here and collect up the plants that she can find there. That would definitely give her a big boost when it comes to taking good care of her garden. All right, so she's taking care of all of these guys. So, hmm, maybe we will have her go on a date with Chanel over or Janelle over there. And there's a bunch of snapdragons that she can harvest and there's a whole bunch of these that she can collect the human food has been put out to try to attract a little bit of food for herself by bringing the humans over here um you know what? I think that really would be a good idea, actually. I think she just caught sight of the new interesting plants. I don't think she would... I think a bird of paradise is okay. Like, it's a little bit orange, but I could see her being okay with that because it's sort of exotic. Um, 
Yeah, I think I think she's going to go and investigate that garden. So we're going to invite Janelle because she's the one that we have the best relationship with on a date over here. So I will see you guys when they pop over there in just a second. Well, actually, actually, we have to try something first. <laughs> will Janelle hang out at a lot? Invite uh, invite to hang out. Can we get her to come over and can we get her to come hang out here with us? Let us see if we can convince Janelle to show up in the middle of the night. And I have a feeling Janelle is just going to think that this is related to the interesting, um, like, gothic cosplay that she thinks that we do. She doesn't really think that Amaryllis is a real vampire. She thinks that incident of Amaryllis drinking her blood on, vam or on Valentine's night is just sort of something that was hazy. The sun was going to come up. It's not something she took so seriously. Did she show up? She's sleeping. Ah, she's sleeping. Hmm. We're going to have to remember that. It's going to be a little bit hard to go on some dates. All right. So unfortunately, Janelle's not here, but here we are at this big giant garden. So let's go ahead and see what it has available. We've got some perfect onion plants of all things. There's a perfect chrysanthemum flower. These are all perfect too. I'm going to have to be really careful. I don't know if I want to collect these after all. What is this? What is that? Is it something? Oh, it's garlic. We have to stay away from that garlic. We need to be really careful. Oh, all these are perfects. I don't know if I'm going to collect these after all because it feels like it would be kind of cheating. The perfect plants sell for so much. Yeah, I'm going to say that the odor of the garlic and and just the overwhelming colors of this garden have really chased her away. Oh my gosh, what's happening here? Rude introduction? Who's trying to have a rude introduction with us? That's not cool. Where are you, huh? Are you trying to pick a fight with a vampire? Because that doesn't sound very smart to me. That sounds like we may have found something to to eat for the night. If somebody, okay, yeah, somebody was trying to come up with a rude introduction towards us, but thankfully it appears she has gone away. Yeah, I don't see anybody. There's a few people hiding back here. Club cosplay apparently is really well populated. Um, Let's go ahead and we'll have her fly over here as a bat and we'll collect these up before sending her back to her retail shop. And if she gets too hungry, there's a few willing people walking by who actually are members of her club. All right, we'll gather these up. And we really do need to get her selling some things in her shop. Maybe Janelle can show up during the day, even if we weren't able to go on a date to the garden with her. We'll have to remember that humans seem to go to sleep kind of early. So we've got to plan our dates pretty early in the evening. Okay, and we got another capsule, so we'll have to sell whatever we're digging up out of the capsules. And then we might come over and get a frog so that hopefully we can have something to eat. And we'll snag some of these mushrooms, I guess, because I guess we could just, we could sell them. All right, so we'll gather up some of the wild mushrooms. And there's more stuff we could gather up over here. Ooh, she found an emerald. It might be kind of fun to keep some of these crystals. All right, she's going to look for a frog. All right. I guess in a pinch, we could go ahead and drink from this guy. We found one dirt frog. All right, so let's see, place in the world. So she's supposed to be able to get the ability, the powers to actually change frogs into plasma packs in a pinch. Frogs and fish into plasma packs at some point when she gets enough of her vampiric powers. Is that Janelle? Janelle, 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 what are you doing here? Oh my gosh, let's ask to hang out, like immediately run over. Janelle, oh, she's actually here. And look at her, she's in her really cool vampire outfit. So she's like in, totally into the cosplay aspect of things. So let's come on over. And let's offer her a rose. I can't believe she's actually here. She walked by at night. She must have wanted to show off her outfit. Kind of try out try out what it's like to be out and about as a vampire. So just thinking again that probably Amaryllis is just is just you know, she's just participating in a lifestyle where she's pretending to be a vampire. Because every time Janelle comes and visits with her and we actually get a chance to possibly drink plasma from her, it's the middle of the night. So I'm pretty sure Janelle doesn't remember things that clearly. All right, let's see what we can pull off here. We want to be flirty with somebody. We want to kiss someone and we want to get out in the city. So, hmm, huh. And then we could travel to the city if we wanted to. And I could start putting down some really interesting shops that the ladies could go and visit. So that might be really fun. Let's try kissing hands because maybe that'll count as being flirty. 
I really think it's hilarious how Janelle just thinks that it's like all the persona that she's adopting and not really herself. All right, flirt with somebody, schedule a date. Oh, that's so cute. So schedule a date. Uh, let's go ahead and try that. I don't know when the last time was I tried scheduling a date. So, oh, and let's do the vampire, maybe detect personality. I wanna try that out really quickly because we've never done that before. All right, so we're gonna step back. And then, oh, look at that. Wow, we learned everything about Janelle in one go. We learned she's a vegetarian and that she's good. Amaryllis Foxglove is now a minor vampire. She has started the ascent to the unhallowed ranks of Grand Master Vampire. Keep using powers, researching vampires, and talking to other vampires to earn more vampire experience. That is so cool. So now we know we know a bit more about her. Okay, no, hang out, hang out. Asta, hang out. Janelle, don't leave. Hang out with us. Oh, that's so fun. Maybe we'll end up learning the organ together. <laughs> we should send them to a church on a date and they could learn the organ. <laughs> I love it. I love that idea that they could learn the organ at a church. I'll have to check if the church I downloaded uh, has an organ in it because that would be perfect. All right, let's see. I wonder if they took a picture together, if Amaryllis would show up in the picture. Can we try that? Let's try that. I want to see if Amaryllis would even show up if we take a selfie. Hang on, I'm gonna try that out. Okay, so we're going to, I want to take a picture. Is that something we can do? Plan social event, buy a restaurant, uh, take selfie, take photo with. Let's try taking a photo with like this. And then I'm going to see if Janelle, actually, or if uh, Amaryllis actually shows up in the picture. And yeah, see, Janelle is talking about Fat, or she's talking about creativity. She probably thinks that maybe maybe she could write a book. All right. Come on. All right. There we go. Oh, it's so cute. Look at them. That's adorable. All right. So let's go ahead and maybe, yeah, we're going to have to do it long ways. Take a picture. Take a picture. Take a picture. We'll set a filter. Nice black and white. So it's kind of classic. And then... Yay, we just got photography skill. I totally forgot that was a skill, actually. And does she actually show up in the pictures? She does. And there's a little gnome in one of them. So she does actually show up in the pictures. I was just wondering, like, if that would happen or not. Oh, and look, you can actually sell some of them. That's so cool. I forgot that you could do that, which is kind of interesting because it's not like it costs anything. But we'll go ahead and sell some of the other ones. And we'll keep the black and white one. Yeah, we'll keep the black and white one, I think. Because I think that's pretty cool. And we'll put that up on our wall somewhere, maybe. All right. So there's a little bit of money that she can make that way. Um, but she does show up in the pictures. I was going to think it was really funny if she didn't show up at all. All right. So let's go ahead and try to schedule a date. Because I don't know if I've ever give relationship advice, exchange numbers. Um, I've, I don't know if I've ever tried that before. So ask on date. Maybe that's what it is. You know what? Let's go ask on date and see what happens. And send them on a date. That would be really cute. No, we don't have enough time. We ran out of time because it's five. Just like Cinderella like has to leave at midnight. We ran out of time because it's five, so we won't be able to do that. Um, we'll express admiration, I suppose. And then maybe ask about love life. And then now that the day is starting to get past us, let's go ahead to vampire and ask permission to drink once more. Because we'll need to be able to survive the coming day. So, Janelle, if you don't mind. Ah, oh, she's just so friendly and cute. I really like her. But we have to remember, we're probably going to break her heart. If not, like, drink her to death. Because this is a serial romantic. All right, Amaryllis. You have a lot of things you need to collect. And you have a shop you're supposed to be running, young lady. So we need to get you home. All right. Janelle offers up her wrist once more. Oh. And that looks so so cool and I know it shouldn't but it's just such an awesome interaction I really love it I absolutely adore just the story base of all of it and where did all the food go that was over here that is so confusing it just vanished oh well all right and you almost couldn't control yourself but you did all right so let's go ahead and say goodbye because we're gonna have to run for it in fact we're gonna start burning no don't stargaze I think she's looking at the sky and realizing the stars are disappearing so let's give her a hug no let's do something more romantic than a hug um embrace maybe yeah let's do embrace instead of hug and then let's run for it because we're about to get we're about to get totally burned up so goodbye Janelle Oh, and Janelle kissed our hands, too. That's so cute. 
and we'll send her a flirty text once we get back. But good job. But goodbye, Janelle. Goodbye. We're going to have to leave you and we're going to have to go home and actually start working on our <laughs> actually start working on running our shop now. Learn your romantic destiny from destiny from the romance guru at the romance festival. <gasps> that would be so cool to go to the romance festival. Next time the romance festival is offered, we definitely need to take uh, Amaryllis there. If she goes with Janelle or not, we'll have to see. We will have to see indeed. All right, let's see what we can gather up before we run out of time and we have to send her to spend all of her time inside. I love that she can just fly around like that. That is so cool. And we'll go ahead and dig these up if we can really, really quickly. Thank you so much, Janelle, for showing up in the middle of the night and making it so we had something to eat. She must have like insomnia or something. And I just feel like, oh, there's an onion plant. And I just feel like she must be really convincing herself that the whole vampire drinking plasma aspect isn't actually happening because <laughs> it's the middle of the night whenever she meets Amaryllis. Amaryllis? 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 Um, you're starting to catch on fire. There's a little bit of some flames, uh, s like starting to sparkle off of you. Um, you're smoking, my dear. I think it's time to go inside. Oh my gosh, she's actually starting to catch fire. This is pretty serious. This I, I really need to get her in. Uh, we're going indoors now. We're not going to be collecting the rest of the stuff. We are getting indoors because this is going to be very uncomfortable and bad news bears pretty soon. You're not sizzling from your romantic issues. You're sizzling because you are actually on fire. So we're going to send her inside now. Mm -hmm. She has used up all of the time that she gets for the day to be outside. So we're going to have her fly in here as a bat to get in there even faster. She is in a really good mood. She has more power points. So we're going to look it over. Oh, and she needs to build up her vampire energy. I totally forgot about that. So vampire energy. Vampires use vampire energy to perform powers and protect themselves from the harsh rays of the sun. Recover vampire energy by sleeping or using dark meditation. So I think we'll go ahead and have her... Hmm... Wait, what's this? Interesting. So we can set her to always move as a bat whenever she moves anywhere. That's so cool. And we can also do some dark meditation. So I think we'll set her to dark meditation for a minute. We definitely need to build her like a cool little meditation room. And I definitely think decorating with some of the awesome crystals that she's been finding would make this even better. So let's see. Let's pull out the crystals she's been collecting. There's bits of emerald. Um, let's see. There's bits of pyrite or plantinium that she has gathered. And there's little bits of pyrite. I think all of the orange ones she'd be willing to sell. So let's put out all of the stuff that she has collected so far. And we have this really awesome. This is actually a modded display that you can put different pieces of. Oh my gosh. I didn't know I did that when you put that out as a display piece. That is so cool. That is so awesome. All right. Well, we'll set that for a sell. Uh, but I really like these. They're just empty display cases. Uh, and I think there's actually some of them. I don't think I'm using them right now, but I downloaded some special ones that will act as the flea tables the, from the flea market so that you can actually summon Sims and be like, hey, come check this out. And it'll be just like a flea table that you do in the flea market. But it just looks quite different. So I had no idea they would look like that. Let's go ahead and set that for sale. Uh, and now it is for sale. And then let's go ahead. Plantinium. Do you look any different? Nah, it just looks the same. But we can go ahead and maybe set it for sale too. And then let's see what else we've got. We've got that dirt surfer frog. Let's extract the fossils and see what we manage to collect. I'll probably keep most of them and put them in the yard. So we have a prehistoric rock, which is pretty cool. We've got some broken fossils, which actually would look pretty good out in the graveyard and a fossilized plant piece. Oh, those are all really cool. So we'll, I think we can sell the prehistoric tool piece and it'll just be like a curiosity piece that she can sell. But we'll put the broken, like the broken piece can come out here. And the fossilized plant piece uh, can also come out here. Just as a fun little curiosity that we'll keep on the side. All right, no, get over here. All right, there we go. And I'll have to like rotate them and place them in a little bit. And then let's go ahead and open up these two containers. What do we have inside? We have some Sims. Elmira Clump. What does she look like? pretty interesting so she's like a little a little librarian that's adorable so maybe we'll save some of these and we'll like sell these 
at the flea market, but I guess the flea market's only going to be during the day and the romance festival is only going to be during the day. So we have a long way to go before Amaryllis is going to be able to participate in human activities as much as she really, really wishes that she could. So let me go ahead and we'll sell these for now, I guess, because we should sell everything we possibly can. <laughs> we really, really should. And then we will keep the treasure map. And we can sell the wolfsbane. You can actually line up a whole bunch of the wolfsbane as like an item to sell right here. And I want to be able to put just a ton of it down. I don't know. It looks kind of interesting like that. Um, Because there's another object that I actually got. Let me see if I can show it off to you guys. There's something else that I downloaded to try to show off different ways that you can sell harvestables because I'm always really big on trying to make the harvestables look pretty cool. So this is from Anska, or the Franken mesh is from Anska, but this is from, um, oh, postcards. Let's see. Yeah, the Valorous Vaults. So yeah. So if you look at the, the vaults area uh, that you can see right here, simstudio slash thread slash 5419, and then you're going to have to just like zoom in on that, to be honest, you can actually find this really cool, this really, really, really cool table that's used for sharing produce. So we're going to actually sell these pieces. And this table has a whole bunch of slots in it. So if you have different pieces of produce, you can have a better way to show them off and a better way to sell them than what comes in the base game. So let me see if I can get it to convince. I want to get it up here. All right, come on. I know I can get you up here. I know I can. Maybe I have to do it like this. Huh? Like this is being really stubborn. This. Ah. Uh. Hold still. Oh my gosh. All of this wolfsbane is being so stubborn. Maybe if I put it down like this. Okay, the wolfsbane is easier to put down like that for sure. Can I put it up in here? Huh. I must be doing something wrong with this then because this is supposed to have tons and tons of different slots. Enjoy automatic restocking for your homegrown harvestables. What happens if I... Oh! Oh ho ho ho! What's going on here actually? I wonder if it's just not modded to take the new plants. Uh, so items that you can add in. Stock table, nothing to stock from the table's inventory. Put in inventory. Oh, okay. So let me see. I have 106 wolfsbanes. No wonder it's freaking out. So I'm going to have to see. This may need updated because we have the vampire pack now. But ideally, I should be able to open up its inventory and just like shove everything inside. So, hmm. Hmm. There's nothing to stop from the table's inventory. And you can put in inventory. Like the whole table can go in my inventory. That's kind of nuts. All right. So never mind, you guys. Well, that's going to be a little bit of a mess. So let me go ahead and put that away. I'm just going to sell the random wolf spain I've been throwing on the ground. And we're going to have to work on getting some more gothic looking plants in here is really the bottom line. We could probably sprinkle all of this wolf spain in here. I could try to get it. Oops, get onto this little thing. I could probably just try to drag the wolf spain in a big stack and like put it all over the place. Just pile it here, which would be kind of a pain. It's not really that exciting. So, and you don't even sell it for very much. So my idea is that we won't really focus for the most part on selling harvestables really, really slowly and painfully like that. Um, we'll focus on selling the herbalist things that we gather and we'll focus on selling collectibles. But otherwise, it's probably going to be mostly stuff. And let's just grab all of it and sell it. There we go. All the wolf spain from her grandma's place. Yeah, we're just going to sell it for that. But mostly, we're going to focus dun -dun -dun, on selling plants from the decorative category, which feels a little bit like oh, not quite as fun as selling stuff that we can harvest, but it makes a lot more sense in the long run. So we'll grab a whole bunch of cool plants and start putting down like little lavender plants. What's the most expensive plant we could try to convince people to get? It's the bamboo divider. That's what we could try to convince people to get. Or some of these uh, really pretty pieces. Like these floor vases are quite expensive. So maybe we'll be able to convince people to buy some of those. And then we've got like the life of a lily. We'll try to go with things that are really elegant. And things that are a little more gothic looking too. Um, 
like that would be okay anything that's white really saturated colors will yank from the plant area and we will put down and try to convince people to buy big boxes of lavender and i'll try to find something else that'll work so that i can sell the harvestables in a more efficient way than just having to stick them one at a time on little shelves like that because that's kind of annoying when they won't drag from her inventory very quickly so let me kind of poke around at some of our plants and see if i can get the store stocked really quickly Oh my, that actually went through our money a lot faster than I thought it would. And I am so excited, you guys, because I have fixed it. I figured out what I did wrong. And we actually do have a really great way that I will be able to put the harvestables up and I will be able to hopefully get them sold. But there is a mod out there and I'll try to remember if I can put it, if I'm home, I'll put it in the video description for sure. But there is a really cool mod out there that, let me see if I can find the right shelf again, because there's two shelves that look identical and that's where I got messed up Cinderella Mouse so Cinderella Mouse set up these cell display cases so that they will act just like the flea tables that you can have in city living and so if you go to Cinderella Mouse's blog spot so if you type in like Cinderella Mouse then you will see a really awesome person she's super active on Twitter awesome simmer she works on making some of her own mods for her blog spot and her stories and she set up this table and it is identical to another table that I have. I think they're actually friends and they work together and that's where I messed up. But they're identical tables and so what this table is, is it actually acts just like a flea table in city living. So we can actually open it and then we can drag in all of the items that we have in her inventory, like all of the harvestables, and you can put it into the items display inventory. Then we can go ahead and like clear the table. Uh, and that's the one problem is that it is located in a spot where she doesn't she doesn't automatically tend to it So let's see if I scooch this table out a little bit Like maybe we'll end up having hang on just a second You know you end up having like those aisle shelves. This is kind of awkward, but let's see if she can work with it here So let's go ahead and clear the table. Can you do that my dear? Yes, she can. So as you can see, now the chrysanthemum is back inside her inventory, or we could go open and then we can snag all of those and put them back in the table's inventory, right? And then you stock the table. Ta-da! And it automatically stocks it. And it's beautiful. That works so much easier than having to put down all the wolfsbane and everything else like that. I'm really regretting having sold the wolfsbane now. But putting all of that in manually one at a time. And then you can go ahead and tend the table. And what that'll do is if the shop was open so that Sims could be here, that would actually start attracting Sims to this spot to try to buy these items because she's selling them. She's tending them just like you would with a flea market. So I think that's really interesting. I just have to figure out where the heck I'm going to stick the table because I don't really want it in the middle of the room but uh, maybe if I put it I wonder if I put it like over one can she still mess with it let's see so then we can come over and let's have her clear the table wonderful and then let's have her open up the inventory drop the items that we want to auto mess with back in there and then stock the table Wonderful! So I just can't have the shelves like right next to each other. I just need to have one block free. Yes! I have figured it out! I have broken the code! I am so happy and hopefully that'll give some of you guys ideas on how to set up your retail shops. So knowing that, then I'm actually going to scooch these guys over a couple pieces because we do want to sell these my sims as well. They're kind of eyesores in her mind and we want to get rid of them as soon as quick as soon as possible, as soon as quickly. Oh my gosh, sorry. And then if I scooch these over now we can go ahead and stock both of these shelves so not an ideal situation uh, in some regards and I do want to be able to afford now that we have a little bit more money maybe I can do this but I do want to be able to afford like big things of hanging ivy that we can hang over oh look at that a cute little overgrown ivy pot oh, I love it that's so cute I want to put that like on the shelf somewhere can I put it on the edge oh my gosh this is so cute it hangs right off the edge of a table. That's so cool. That's so cool. It definitely needs to go in some special spots so that, there we go. 
Look at that. That is so cool. We are definitely selling that. That is too awesome. Definitely going to be selling those. Um, but I want to be able to get some overhanging ivy and things like the window boxes inside hanging over this little sign spot so that we cover up that sign somehow because it kind of bugs me that the sign just doesn't fit with everything else, the ambiance of the store we have. So I may find a way to like use move objects on and cover up this little sign bit. But I just think that's really great because now we actually have a way where I can try to to tend to and sell the harvestables without feeling like I have to put every single tiny item down and restock it manually because that just takes forever. Uh, though alternatively, I think one of the retail perks that we actually can get once we start getting retail points when we open up, is there like a there's cheaper instant restocking members of the household will be able to instantly restock items once we get that then we can probably get rid of these shelves and we can put harvestables up and it would just be fine and i think we would pull the harvestables from our inventory too so who knows i'm new at this retail running a store thingy and we're going to set this for sale too and now we finally have some things set for sale for once so we do have stuff set up we'll have to see if i can blend tending the table for a flea market table and running a retail store together if those will actually work together and then we will also have to see uh, what other retail related things I can work on like can I price mark up any higher what are some of the perks I can have um, can I, I get employees we could start hiring employees oh my Josephine Nobles looks like she would definitely be somebody who could fit in there's lots of people wearing the vampire outfits that's hilarious so we might have to hire an employee and then maybe we can have them share our little like gothic ambiance that we have going on here um, the perk points there's lots and lots of different things that we could get for the perk points that I have never ever tried out so that would be really fun to see how that works like faster checkouts uh faster restocking hmm you know all of those things would be really fun to get too so we're going to start experimenting with actually running the florist shop as a shop and filling it up with a huge variety of different things to sell and trying to make a little bit of money and a little bit of income both off our harvestables and off of the plants that we buy and that we arrange to look so nice in our store next time. So thank you guys for letting me ramble and try to explain the store side of things and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.